Every year, the European Union produces around 110 million tonnes of animal and vegetable food waste. Some of that waste, for instance all of these almond peels and shells, are already being used as agricultural byproducts. But could they also be used to produce state-of-the-art innovations in the construction or car industries? We've come to Spain to try to find out. This agricultural cooperative has 550 workers. Among other fresh products, last year it produced 4 million kilos of almonds. But once the almond shells cracked and discarded, the maths are different. Out of those 4 million kilos, scarcely 25%, that's a bit more than a million kilos, is the almond itself, the fruits that we can use to cook and eat, to produce nougat or to make beauty products with. And the remaining 75% is the almond shell that is currently being mainly used as biomass. Now scientists in a European research project, the Barbara Project, have more ambitious plans for these almond shells. At this chemical lab, almond shells and also waste from broccoli, lemon and pomegranate production are processed to obtain natural raw materials with potential value in the industry. Microwaves, chemical products and other processes help to maximise the potential of each product. From lemon, for instance, we can extract a yellow colourant and also some essential oils with a lemon fragrance. That can give both an aroma and also antibacterial properties to the final product we want to develop. Pomegranate also provides antibacterial additives in a very wide colour range from red to blue depending on the chemical process we use in the lab. Broccoli gives a natural green colorant that's quite eye-catching. And almond shells, once ground and mixed with bioplastics, can give a texture and a look similar to that of wood. The raw materials are then mixed with cornstarch-based bioplastics at a technology lab. Processes involving high temperatures, water cooling and material binding and winding turn the mixture into a thread that can then be 3D printed into car parts. We're looking at maintaining at least or improving the thermic and mechanical properties. That's the resilience to high temperatures and impacts of existing commercial materials used for 3D printing and eventually using them in the same industrial applications. We also want to give them antibacterial properties and we're trying to develop customised fragrances. This is the mock-up of a car dashboard. This part was made with lemon peel. This one has lemon fragrance, and these two are two different segments made with pomegranate. This one has quite a distinct texture. And here you have the part that we printed from almond shells. It's very nice, its texture is very different from the others. Our next step is now to scale up what we've developed in the lab into a semi-industrial level. That takes around four to five years. So in four to five years, products like the ones we've developed could come to the market.